Welcome everyone to another edition of Play It Pro, and on this edition is Mad Max, brought to us by Mindscape. And though this game is called just Mad Max, it's actually more based off the second film in the franchise. Though how it follows the movie is pretty limited. So here we go with Mad Max on the NES. The game starts off with a little bit of backstory before we actually get into the gameplay. This will be pretty much the only storyline the game gives us. After our intro sequence, we have a selection screen to either go right into the game, or you can enter a password to skip some of the levels and go farther in. In Mad Max, there's three levels. The first section of each level is a road section, like the one we're on now, and the second section is an arena battle where it's you versus a large amount of other vehicles. In the road sequences, you're driving around the road trying to find different caves in order to grab supplies. The items that we get from the caves, which will be ammo, health, but mainly the two things most importantly are food and water. We'll use both of those in order to go to the shop to buy either fuel to refill our vehicle or to buy an arena pass which will allow us to get past the road level and go into the arena level. There's a total of four caves on each of the road levels. I'm going to be going to only one in the first level and then I'll be going into two on the second and third level. Every cave in every level contains different amounts of supplies as well as a different layout overall, but you don't need to go to every cave. The only reason to go to the other cave is if you really want to pick up all the extra supplies that you can, though you only need a certain amount in order to buy the arena pass or the refuel. In the first level, thankfully, we will have enough fuel and enough supplies after only going into one of the caves. That cave I'm just exiting now. Inside I grabbed all the fuel food, water, and other supplies I'll need in order to buy the arena pass, and then I'm going to go right to the arena. I'll explain more about the caves and the other levels to try to give you a better idea of the controls and such in those places. This is the shop. You want to click on goods, and then the third selection in order to buy the arena pass. Once we have that, we're now going to hit back to the roads, travel a long winding path to finally reach the arena. There's lots of different paths to take in each of these road levels, so it can be very confusing. You also have to throw dynamite from your car in order to blow up different amounts of the barriers or rock piles in front of certain roads. The other vehicles on the road that are going to attack you during the course of the road levels can be a real pain. They're going to throw dynamite at you as well as just try to ram you consistently. Every time they ram you or throw dynamite, they will do damage to you. You know you're getting low on health when you'll see the car start to deteriorate. On the first level, it only takes one piece of dynamite to defeat the enemy cars on the street, but in the other levels, it'll take two or three shots in order to defeat a car, so usually it's not worth it to use the dynamite on the vehicles on the road. It's best just to try to hit them or avoid them altogether. Here's our last turn in this part of the level. Make it past this last tower, and then we'll enter the arena at the end of the road. All the arenas are on the south side of a cliff, so you have to go north into them. So this is the beginning of the arena level. The first arena level is you versus 30 cars. We'll actually have to face 40 and then 50 cars in the second and third of the arena stages. Thankfully, the overall difficulty of the arena isn't too much. The hardest part about it is finding the exit at the end, as well as trying to avoid the pits that do open up. The enemy vehicles that you have to defeat have pretty dumb AI and will usually kill themselves half the time. On your first time going through the arena levels, I highly suggest going straight to the exit first, finding it and locating it so you know where it is, and then try to hunt down all the cars, or just let them come to you and try to drive them into the pits that open up, or into the actual big open areas. The other hard parts about the arena are the fact that you lose your dynamite altogether regardless of how much you had left at the end of the previous road level. As well as you do have full fuel, but you'll see that it's slowly ticking away and once it reaches empty, you're going to end up losing a life. You should have enough fuel in order to get past the first of the arena levels. However, because of the increased amount of cars as well as the increased amount of space in the arena, in arenas 2 and 3, more than likely you'll lose at least one life. 
I've never been able to complete the third arena without losing at least one life due to my fuel running out completely. I don't think it's possible to defeat all the cars, as well as get to the exit before your fuel runs out at least one time in the third arena level. Usually the strategy for getting most of these cars to fall into any of the pits is to stay on the left or right side of one of the pits. Make sure you're not close to the edges of the big open area so that you end up falling in. And then just try to bait all the cars into coming towards you and just let them fall right into the pit. Like I said, most of the time the AI is pretty dumb. They'll just drive right into a hole, even one of the big open areas. They'll drive right into the middle of it and just wait for the pit to open up. Once all the other vehicles have been defeated on the road, it's now time to find the exit. While heading towards the exit, all the openings will still keep continuing to open and close on you, so be very careful while maneuvering through this area. The exit for the first arena is in the upper left corner of it. Once you find the exit, you get a password, and now we move on to the second of the road levels. At the beginning of the second road level, you'll see that we start off pretty much in the same location. We had to blow up a barrier to end up getting to the road, and now we're going to head to the first cave, which thankfully is pretty close to the beginning. While most of the road levels look the same graphically, the setups are completely different in terms of the layout, as well as the caves are in different places, and like I previously mentioned, all the caves have different setups as well. In this second road level, I'm going into two of the caves. Inside the caves, you're going around collecting all the different supplies that you can find, which include fuel, food, health, water, as well as in the third level you have to pick up weapons, such as the crossbow, as well as you can pick up ammo for your shotgun in all of the caves in every level. The only other object is the keys, which open up those double doors that we see throughout each of the layouts. Be careful with the keys, there's a limited amount of them in each cave, and some of the doors are just going to lead you to a big open area with nothing in it, as well as some of the doors can be avoided altogether by just doing a little bit of tracking around the cave. Of course, you're going to have no idea the first time around which doors lead to open, empty areas, but it comes down to trial and error. While traveling around these caves, a lot of the enemies that you see, most of which you can just avoid by sidestepping them. They don't move very fast and they do very little damage to you. Sometimes though, in a tight area, you may get stuck on one, in which case they can do some damage, then just shoot them a few times and they'll just crumble into nothing. Now that we have all the supplies in this cave, I'm going to exit this one and head back to the road. Once we are now back on the road, we're actually going to make a stop at the shop, but this time just to buy some fuel, because we're going to have to buy the arena pass with the supplies that we get from the second cave. We could afford to buy the arena pass now, but unfortunately the amount of fuel that you start with isn't enough to get to the shop and then all the way to the arena without running out of fuel. Once we are at the shop, we're going to go over to fuel and then select the third option to get a full tank of fuel. While this game can get very repetitive very quickly, thankfully though the controls that are there work pretty well. The only thing really bad about the whole driving sequences is the fact that there's no music. We just have to hear the sounds of the car over and over again, which can really get draining on the ears. Here is the location of the second cave we're going to explore. Since we have enough fuel now, we're just going to be collecting the amount of supplies we need in order to buy the arena pass. Of course, while traveling throughout these places, you can see the big open pits that are in the floors in some of the places. Be sure, of course, to avoid them. Falling into one will instantly lose you a life. The only real difference between the multiple enemies that are in these places, the gray guys or the green guys, is that the green guys take more shots to kill than the gray ones, though they're just as easily avoidable as the gray ones.
This is the last room that we need to enter here, grab the last bit of supplies, and now we just gotta find our way back out of this place. 